is that great big thing in the sky. The sun is out. Look at it. Meant to get to highs of 16 today. I mean, heat wave. Very excited. Um, I've got a lot on today and I didn't get up early enough, which, yeah, slightly kicking myself for, but hey ho. Just got in my car. It absolutely stinks in here. I'm not going to show you my car because that's also quite embarrassing, but um, it absolutely reeks and I've realised it's my gloves. Um, I think I must have put them in here when they were wet and then left them because, God, the smell is really rough. Um, I'm off this morning, really just as moral support, pole picker upper, um, I don't know, occasional word of wisdom to somebody who's going to Houghton this weekend. And I'm actually going to a new venue that I haven't been before, which is really exciting because I'm hoping that if it's nice, I can like add it to somewhere else to some teach some of my clients. So that's good. I'm pleased. I'm it's like going and doing a recce. So I might take you along if I can. Um, let's get going. So we've come to use an arena at Little Park, but from what I gather, we park at somewhere else and then we ride or walk up to the arena, so I'll find out. But uh, it's very nice here. On to the second job of the day, these little cuties going for a nice hack um quite behind today it's just one of those things people were late things took longer than i expected i didn't allocate quite enough time for each thing so i'm feeling a little like ah um and it's already gone midday and i'm gonna just start the hack and i've got a shavings delivery coming today i've got a food delivery best thing for me um i'm on rations this week there was there's zero food in my house which makes me very grumpy i need to ideally ride all of well, we need to ride my two and my livery when I get back, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have time to do that. I need to move field fencing because um, they've kind of come to the end of the top paddock, so now it's back to the bottom again. Lots more walking for me to be doing then. Um, I've come rather accustomed to just going to the first field or the first pen at the top of my field. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to find I've got achy legs from going up and down my hill again. So, yeah, so feeling a little bit like I just should have got up earlier because I also didn't finish my mucking out this morning which really wound me up because I ended up tidying the barn ready for the shavings and I certainly thought if it's going to be a nice day I need to put some washing on I don't know if you can see but it's quite a big black cloud up there I hope the weathermen weren't lying because I've got no coat on today so if I get wet I'm going to be very grumpy um if you can see how beautiful that house is in the distance yeah anyway we'll fit it in somehow food delivery most important so we have shavings just shifted a good 25 of those good little workout um so i mean it doesn't really look like 50 does it it's a bit just a bit disappointing being that i just you know gave a fair old sum of money over for those bales i think the boys appreciate it um annoyingly it's now oh what time is it can't see it's three o'clock um and the my food my food is coming at between four and five so there's no way in an hour i can get them in tidy them up and get out hacking not even possible so that's a bit frustrating because if the food arrives late then that's going to be closer to five and oh we haven't ridden anybody so not ideal but anyway at least the shavings have arrived that's one thing done i'm going to go and get them in get them cleaned up so that once my food's arrived i can get on and get them ridden oh and i also had a reply from bd and sadly i can't do what i wanted to do i'm not quite eligible by like the smallest of margins of course but i can't do it so have a little rethink tonight of exactly what i want to do you can see rt over there um god knows when i'm gonna go and do the field fencing but I have also managed to get some washing out, which is great because that's been sat in the corner for ages. Um, Cause I haven't really got anywhere to dry it. So not this rug, obviously it's filthy. Um, yeah, so at least we've done that. Anyway, so did not expect this today. So I, as you all know, have top spec feed and collect the tokens. And in the past I've had saddle cloths. I, th I think all I've had is saddle cloths. So I've not. I wanted a few of them, so I've saved for the saddle cloths, and they take a little while if you've only got one horse that eats the feed. Well, this time round, I thought, let's not have a saddle cloth, and I assumed 
that when you can get like a free bag of feed that you would just get a voucher to go to the shop with no so you can imagine my shop to find that in here an actual bag of feed so that was a nice surprise today i was not expecting that um I'm amazing i mean that feed for me is about 34 pounds something i know scarily expensive but it lasts a long time um so you know just from tokens on the side of the bags it, yes it's probably taken me i don't know how long to collect maybe a year but it's still a free bag that's still 34 quid in my pocket yeah so thank you very much top spec i've actually also i had a little i had a few tokens left i don't know here it is <laughs> with my tokens left i got a top spec woolly hat not needed today that's for sure but uh it'll come in use in winter somebody went above and beyond with their rolling today check out bills actually doesn't look so bad from this side looks worse the other side but yeah he thought do you know what not missing this opportunity fly rug wet ground he went for it you are one very dirty boy oh my goodness billy Yeah, that's a dirty, dirty pony. Oh, God. I'm not sure that's going to come off in the wash. Good morning to you guys and Coop. It's now a few more days since I did my last few videos. Um, and I was going to video a bit of scrolling, but it was all getting a little bit late, so I didn't. So this morning, unusually for me, I don't have to be in work till, I think, about 11, which is quite uncomfortable. Normally, I always like to get my work all done first thing, but today it hasn't worked out that way. So, it means I can ride everybody this morning, which is like a really nice treat. Would you not make that much noise? Um, which is like a really nice treat, because it means then when I do get back from work, later on this afternoon, it, they've all been done. And I don't have to think about trying to do it in the evening. Morning, Bills. Um, so, I'm going to do Coop first, then Bills, and then I'm going to give Artie a lunch so he doesn't feel left out, because otherwise he'll just get really cross. Um, much more overcast today. Yesterday was a little heat wave. It was like 21 degrees, I think. Um, feeling definitely a li little, little pinker today. Not crazy pink, but going to have the good old farmer's tan line before you know it. Um, but I think it's going to be warm again today, so it'd be good to get them done early as well. So yeah, right, I'm going to get on with it. So today I wanted to go back to basics with my dressage. I don't necessarily feel like I've lost my way, but I just haven't been getting the marks that I have wanted in recent outings. And I just, well, the great thing about having YouTube is that you can look back over your videos. And like I say, I just thought, do you know what? I need to go back to basics. I need to get this horse more in front of my leg, sharper, have more impulsion. You know, I want him to take that contact and move forward more. And so that's what I did. I must have done, it felt like a million transitions today in my session. And a lot of back and forth, back and forth, really sharpening up that hind end of his. And the results was incredible. I couldn't believe it from simply doing those two little things. He was so much more active. He was, had he, in the bottom of a test sheet, you'll see in the collector's marks, it says desire to move forwards for the impulsion. Something he always scores badly in. He had that desire to move forward today. He had that impulsion. He became so much softer over his back. He had this elasticity in his steps that I have never seen from him. I mean, look at him trot here. Who'd think Coop could actually move like this? You know, we had power, we had engagement. He was coming through from behind. He was then staying beautifully um, quiet in his head carriage, staying uphill. I could then just carry my hands. Yes, I had to override him in this session. but And for a test, you would definitely bring that back down. But it was a starting place. And it created the most beautiful trot. And oh, just the fact that he was so much quicker off my aid. Yeah, he was quite grumbly in between. You know, when you asked him to collect and come back, sometimes he'd go, mm, don't. But I then changed and went into doing the same thing in the canter. So lots of transitions back and forth within the canter. And I think he found it slightly hard in the canter, but he really is stepping under so well for him. I mean, he actually looks like he's got an active hind leg on him. And I found that he had more jump in the canter from all these transitions I was doing. You know, he actually jumped into canter, not just flopped into it. Um, and there was, there was, I felt like there was real harmony. And he just looks so expressive. Something that he really has lacked over the last year or so. And here we had it. 
and I honestly was so thrilled with him. I felt a little disappointed with myself that it had taken this long to kind of figure it out, but hey, that's dressage. But yeah, there was so much more acceptance from him than we've had regularly, and all because we had more power from behind, and I was actually riding, I was being proactive and not just sitting there. Um, looked more fluent, oh, thrilled with him.